Please welcome Tamika Tiny Harris. <laughs> Cam, please put your feet on those feet oh. and twist them to the side. See, mo model them for the look, look at that camera. See? Oh, this right. side. Yeah, Let's go. go to this yeah. side. Yeah, they like to see everything. Very nosy we are. <laughs> um, you smell great. Thank you. Are you still wearing I'm... your diamond bracelet? Every time I see you, you... I think I'm you... not. You're not? Diamond bracelet? Yes. No, I don't have on anything. Yeah. Hmm. I have on a ring my son bought me. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Before we get to that, let's talk about the eyeballs. Okay. I don't think I've seen you in person since you got them done. And so, but I have so many questions, but I'm not gonna belabor the point. When you blink, do you scrape? No. Is it comfortable to blink? I don't, I don't feel anything. Actually, when I came last time with Shekana, I had them done, but I had the little glasses on, so you Right, I couldn't see yeah. them. Well, let's give Tiny Rambo some eyeball cam. <laughs> and you look in the, that camera. This one? Uh huh. So they were brown. Oh, by the way, how much did that cost? Uh, it didn't cost me that much, um, but I think it's about ten thousand dollars somewhere in there. But the, really, the flight is most most expensive. Yeah, yeah. In Africa. Yeah. All right, let's move along. <laughs> Ugh. So sad. Yeah. But I feel like we've been down this road before. We have been down this road before. Wendy. So I don't believe that this is actually going to happen. Mm. I think that this is um, an inflamed situation to sell the final season of The Family oh, that's Hustle. that's what you think? No. I, do, I don't want to believe it. I want to make things up in my mind. That's cool. I mean, <laughs> we can go with that. Well, I mean, you know, it's crazy. It's, you know, a little bit, little bit of this, a little bit of that. Do you think that reality TV um, was the jump off to the troubles in your marriage? I think reality TV did, you know, put a little strain in it just because it's, it keeps people in your business and keeps people. But you, you, you know, all stayed on TV. You're the one who signed up. If you don't want to, I know, so, but we're I mean, watching. But I felt like, you know, it's a family show, so it would be cool, you know. But oh, no. it just seems like, you know, everything just turns out to be like in the media. I mean, Major is cute. Thank you. He's adorable, and all the kids are. He, he's my favorite, though. I, I, I always. <laughs> Major is everybody's favorite. He is. Uh, he. Uh, your kids have such great personalities, but Major's my favorite. But I feel like after a while, even the black Huxtable, the hip hop Hux, Huxtables, um, run out of a storyline. Right. And then it comes to this. So mm -hmm. now we're seeing it play out on TV. Six years of marriage, a brand new baby. Yes. A brand new one. Congratulations. Thank you. Why? What ha happened? We just cannot keep it together. You know, I guess it's just, you know, the entertainment life and everything. It's just a lot, you know? The fast life. It is a fast life. He is, they, they call him a sex symbol, I guess. <laughs> uh, he, you, you, you have very nice taste in men. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Um, now, um, will you be doing drive-bys with him? <laughs> You know, I might. Th yes, no. sure. That, that, that's a comfortable place to be. <laughs> I just might. Yes. Okay, so who is Bernice? Who, uh, is, who is this girl? She's some. She's somebody that comes in and is gone. And, you know, he is, I mean, it's nothing to it is what he does, you know. But, um... Do you all have an open marriage? No. We don't have anything, no. Right. Well, I mean, but when when it was when it was, did you ever have an agreement with an open marriage? No, Except it's not an agreement. No, we just we just were married and we did what we wanted to do. But uh -huh. it's not like. But this got sloppy because that's what people are saying. That the reason that you had it is because this one right here got sloppy, and she got on the um, the social media and she sang an escape song. And then you said, we covered it on Hot Topics, you know what we do. Mm -hmm. um, and then you said to her, well, that's funny, because you know he was laid up with me last night. 
Well, and, okay, and, yeah, that, that. And then the word also is, is that he's living with her because you guys don't live together anymore. No, you, you, he's not even with her, first of all. Okay, okay. Like, no. And she had nothing to do with whatever was going on with us before anyway. It was already, we were already going through whatever we're going through. Mm -hmm. She just came in the picture after I filed for a divorce. And, and the only problem I had with her, yeah, yeah okay. only problem I have with her was, um, she, you know, I said what I said. Somebody made a comment about her on my page. I said what I said. Uh -huh. She replied, that's cool, okay? Uh -huh. But then you come back with another video speaking on my marriage, which is a no-no. Right. And then, then you come back with the final video singing my song. And I'm feeling like, okay, now you keep has, coming. Has, has T.I. <laughs> stepped to her? Like, chill. Yeah, like, I mean... First of all, I'm, I stepped to him like, uh, don't she know her place? She's needs, she's supposed to be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every oh. every woman that's not the one knows that you supposed, supposed to, to be, be quiet. quiet. Here, you have watery eyes. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. You're very welcome. Um, got you. Now, um, by the way, is Shikana still in your life? Shikana is definitely in my life. Okay. She'll always be in my I life. I love her. I love her. I'm glad. Okay, good. All right, now, not for nothing, um, Tiny. You're no innocent. <laughs> we saw yes, you. I am. No, you aren't. <laughs> now, you can have a cute new baby and have Major and your mom, by the way, who I love, yeah. but I see through <laughs> everything. Well, what do you see, Wendy? You weren't just dancing with Floyd Mayweather. You were dancing up on him. I was not. No, yes, you no, were. No, no, no. Yes. I wasn't In, up on him, yes, Wendy. Yes, you were. Actually, Actually, That's I not how a already... married woman dances. No, actually, I was already dancing, and you know, he was like, you know, we're friends. It's never been anything extra with me and Floyd. Hmm. Never. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. But I've been knowing Floyd for a long time. Hmm. I mean, I mean, he's hmm. a nice looking man, but it's hmm. never been anything other than a friendship, hmm. honestly. Hmm. But you. <laughs> I'm saying. Okay. You were all up on him. We rolled the video here on Hot Topics. Suzanne, you saw it. You okay, I wish you had that video up because I wasn't all up on him. If you yes, see me, you I were. was kind of like, That's not no. how a married woman did. Look, all right. Uh, did he have anything to do with the breakup? Because if I was your husband, I'd have a problem with that. Like, why are you in Vegas all up on Floyd Mayweather's crotch? Well, first of all, I was in L.A. and I was at somebody else's Wherever. party. Wherever. Oh, you were in, you, no, you were at Mariah Carey's party. Yeah, I was at party Mariah's party. I wasn't in Calabasas. At, yes. Yes. I wasn't at a Floyd's event, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, if he would have been doing the right thing, I wouldn't have been at Mariah's party. Okay? Thank you. Okay. So, and, and you and Tamar, are you all so cool? Like, I mean, I'm always going to consider Tamar a good friend of mine. She's like family. She is um, the godmother to... Eris. Uh-huh. And then your mom got on social media and, and basically said that she's not a good uh, godmother. Like, she read Mar um, Tamar. Well, yeah, she Thank did. You. I don't know. I can't stop my mom from doing crazy things. But, you know, she, she didn't mean to, like, be, you know, too, like, oh, Tamar, you're nothing because we love Tamar. She loves Tamar. Yeah. But um, she was just saying because we haven't been speaking. So, you know, that's all. Well, this is the time to wrangle your girls. You, Shikana, Tamar. Well, wrangle I mean, them together I, I, and I would love to wrangle them because, you know, they're all family to me. Although I don't think that you're going to get divorced. I honestly, you all, I, this is another flair. You know, Which I'm just listening to her talk. <laughs> okay. So congratulations on the Thank escape reu uh, reunion. Thank you. I am, <clears throat> I'm very excited about this. Now, what all's doing? Does this mean new music or the same music and then you go on tour? You need a tour. Yeah. Well, those, those are your girls right there. Those are my girls. Um, right now, we're not really focusing on new music because I think really what everybody loves and what they want to hear is the Thank old music. You. Thank you. Yeah. I say that all the time. Yeah. I just wanted to see what you would say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but we just are working on... It. Yeah, it's Come on that. now. <laughs> So you'll um, go on tour mm -hmm. with the old music yes. where, that everybody knows the words to. It'll be perfect for you while you soothe your way into getting back with your husband because <laughs> this divorce is not going to happen. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're so, um, you know. I'm intuitive. I know things. 
Mariah and Nick will get back together and you and T.I. No, will get back together. Huh? I feel that too. That they'll get back together, yeah. right? You could judge everybody else's relationship but, but your my own. own. <laughs> I get that from you, Winnie. I do the same thing. <laughs> I do the same thing. So, um, so now you have a record label. Yes, I um, have a Pretty Hustle record label. Pretty um, Hustle, mm -hmm. love it. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. It's a girl thing, man, yes. you know? Yes, And so your daughter is one of your artists? She is my first artist. Um, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, she's not T.I.'s uh, daughter. No. Well, she'll be out she, here late. Uh, she is, but she ain't. Well, we can get to the bottom of that, too, because <laughs> Zonique is here, and she's going to join us on the couch next. <laughs> and joining us now is Tiny's daughter, Zonique Pullins. Yeah. Hi, Zonique. Hi. All right, first thing I noticed is that you got the eyeballs, too. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now, how old are you, dear? I'm 21 now. 21. Now, how old? Were you, how long have you had the eyeballs? Uh, I got them when I was 18, maybe 19, though. 18 or 19. 18 or 19. Well, it's show business. I, I, I guess that's you know. I couldn't stop her. I told her to wait to see if I go blind, but she was like, I'm oh, oh, oh. She wants to get that. I fell in love. She, yeah. Well, you're very beautiful. Thank so, you. 21 years old. Did you have a big celebration? I did. I actually went to Cancun, Mexico, with all my friends and my mom. You know she joined. She go, She comes to all of my birthday celebrations. So really? Every <laughs> single one she's at. So, I'm paying does, for is it, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but do, do you stay in like a villa down the road and let the girls have their time? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I hang out a little bit, but I don't like, I don't like, you know, she's with her girls. I be in my room doing my own thing, and then I come out and see him. Who you fly yeah. in? Nobody. Oh, I had, I had my a friend, plan. like one of my friends, my bestie, like okay. she was with me, so. Okay. Now, Zonique, mm -hmm. um, your last name is Pullins. It is. What's your relationship like with your father? I actually have a really good relationship with my dad. I talk to him every single day, mm -hmm. so we have a really great relationship. We don't see each other as much, but we have a great relationship. Nice. And what's your relationship like with him? It's cool, you know. Um, He's cool. We don't have any issues, no problems. He's a funny guy. He's a cool guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Zonique made hot topics. Remember, we talked about this, girl. I saw You were arrested for ca carrying a gun in the airport? Oh, no. How do you know you don't have a gun in your back? Like, what the gangster is going on? Oh. <laughs> you know, I have been telling myself all day, do not forget that it's in your purse. And I had a really late flight, so I still forgot. I know it's terrible. And I didn't even think until she was like, let me, can I get your purse? I had already, she gave it back to me. And she was like, wait, can I see your purse again? And when I was giving it to her, I was like, oh my God. And I was like, throw it away, throw it away. Like, Don't. I'm done with it. <laughs> and she was looking at me. She didn't even say anything. And I was like, I'm in trouble. Okay, so you have a license to carry or is this, uh, was this a dirty gun no. with bodies on it? I, actually, I de <laughs> definitely have a license. License to carry. Right. Now, why do you need to carry, like, like, why is, she driving, why is she driving around with the gun as opposed to having it under her mattress, like some people? I mean, I don't know, because if you're out and you're getting, you know, she had, like, so a couple things was going on, like somebody, an officer following her, coming to our neighborhood, looking for her, asking people around. So I just felt like she needed a little protection, you know, especially if you have an officer. I don't know what, you know, I don't know what can happen from there. I think he stopped her one time, and I think he just liked her look. And from there, he was just like, you know, kind of. Did he know that you were Tiny and T.I., Tiny uh, and T.I.? Not that I know. He didn't mention it. Right. But he acted like he was going to pull me over. Well, and he was like, just get off the exit instead. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh -huh. I was like, huh? Was he looking at you all pervy-like? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Because all cops aren't good cops. Yeah, right. See? You know that. That's, I learned right then and there. But a baseball bat would have been, you know, <laughs> uh, I mean. Cool. You're not like mother like daughter. I did the same thing. That's what she said. I, I know you all, you, I wasn't gonna pull your gunplay into it. Uh. Nor, nor, nor will I pull I Tip's gunplay into it. Oh yeah, okay. We've moved, we've moved on. Moving on. Right. So your parents are getting divorced. How do you feel? How, how are you supporting your mom? You know, I support my mom through anything, mm -hmm. but I try to stay out of their marriage life. You mm -hmm. know, I love both my pops and my mom, and I just feel like we're gonna forever be a family. So, I love yeah. them. That's a good way of looking at it, Donique. And you make sure that Major is fine. You know, I will. Major's you know, grown. I know he's grown. <laughs> 
And that then that little goober, the new one too, you I know. Love her. Yeah. She's half my baby, half hers. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, so Love Jones is Zonique's new EP. Yes. Um, now, how many songs are we? Do we have on Love Jones? There's five songs. You get a little snippet of who I am as an artist, as a solo artist. You know, I used to be in a singing. I used to be in a girls group. But now it's my solo project, and I'm really mostly talking about relationships, up and the ups and downs of relationships. What do you know about love? You know, I know a little something. Is mom something. singing on it? Actually, my mom isn't singing on it, but she wrote one of the songs. We wrote one of oh, the songs together. Oh, you took my together. background talk? Okay, no, stop. <laughs> do, do, I, you're one of those doo-wop, doo-wop girls? I tried to. <laughs> like Tamar would say. No, I tried to. I mentioned doing a song with her, but asking her to do the background. Is Pop on it, Tip? No, no, I didn't include him. But I don't know. I don't know what me and her can do a song about. So I said, just do the backgrounds. She, and she wants to do offended. a song with her and do background. Like, <laughs> yes. yeah, you have to do, do, you do you realize that your mom's a legend? I know that's what everybody keeps saying. All I'm right. Like... Well, look, look at Google that, young lady. <laughs> Zonique, so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. And you. thank you so much for being here. Her new EP is called Love Jones, and it's available right now. And T.I. and Tiny, The Family Hustle, airs Monday nights at 10 o'clock on VH1.